there might be a moment in a person's life that marks a before and an after. There was one in the people previously mentioned here, and the case of Hannah was no exception. One day she said, enough. She broke the fast. Look how ironic. Rather than entering into a fast, she ate. Because maybe she saw herself in the mirror and said, oh, when well, she sees in that mirror such a scary woman like this, her hair all disheveled because women in depression get sloppy physically and aesthetically. They don't use a comp anymore and have a lot of dandruff and their teeth are all ugly and get a pale color. Yes, amen. Careless and camped. I'm not speaking about the vanity of the world but of what's normal and has to do with body skirt. So when she sees that sort of woman in the mirror, she says, I'll get out of this, that's why, oh no, that can't be. And right away she prepared food and ate and was full. She didn't go to the temple fasting, she went very, very well fed. And she goes down on her knees at that altar, blessed be the name of Jesus, and she starts crying before the God of glory. This was not a very loud prayer, like Jabez won. Because it is not so much about the tone of the prayer, but the spiritual intensity with which it is uttered. This woman was crying, and the priest was watching her face and observing her lips and said, this woman is drunk. What an irony, Pastor. While a believer is praying and pouring out her soul, the priest is sitting and leaning back against the pillar of the temple, looking at her. What a shame. Instead of at least praying along with her, why not come close and pray for her? Lord, here is your servant. Bless this woman, Father. I don't know what burden she brings, but please help her instead. Prejudging her and watching her lips. He went farther, because the problem is not to observe in itself, the problem is when things go beyond and we think. And what's worse when we pronounce? I don't know if you have had the vivid experience we have made mistakes, right? Oh, why did I say this, Heavenly Father? Why did I prejudge this person? I have had to go and say, forgive me, brother, I mistook you for with someone else. One day I saw a woman on the street I was on a motorcycle with my wife, and I assumed there goes sister so-and-so, and no sister from church. I stopped and told her, God bless you, sister so-and-so, and she turned around and told me, don't you have eyes? What sister? Look at this guy. When I saw her, this is not her, my God, amen. The motorcycle tore down of me, and it was an old bike you have to kick, brother. The lady continued. They don't open their eyes. What's happening to them? And she started to lecture me in the street in front of the people. When I managed to start that bike, I took off, brother, amen ashamed we can confuse things and if I confuse them and don't say anything nothing happens but the issue is that I told her sister God bless you and she was a very Catholic woman and she got offended praise be the Lord this man prejudged Hannah he told her put away your wine from you and this holy woman turned to him and said listen to me women that some of you are extremely vulnerable I was mistreated you say Many believers are sort of sensitive. At the minimum deception, they say, Oh, I'm leaving this church, and they walk from Dan to Beersheba, looking for churches where they may be tolerated and taken like this. Amen, brother. Watch this believer in the bench, kneeling. Judge is drunk and intoxicated by the pastor. And instead of being offended, she speaks to him in a respectful tone and tells him, No, my Lord. Praise be the Lord. When we pray, we become spiritual, and spirituality affects our character positively. Count not your handmaid for the daughter of Belial. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink. I have come under a strong depression due to a rival who continually humiliates me. Women who hear me, if you have a rival, if your husband is ungodly, a scoundrel who has an affair with another present yourself on your knees before God of heaven and God will work. How many of you give praises to the Lord? The woman was hurt. A year later she returned with the baby. The man was still in service maybe and she told him, Do you remember that a year ago I was here? Do you remember once you said I was intoxicated? And he looked at her and said, I think I remember you. Do you remember that I was crying and my voice was inaudible? Do you remember? Do you remember about that? Well, I was praying for this baby. 
Now do me a big favor and present him before the God of glory. Praises to the God of heaven. God moves his hand when we resolve to rise from a condition. How many of those who listen to me accept the scorch of sin as if it were something natural? You accept infidelity, the adultery of your husband so carefree. Saying anybody's like that, no, you're wrong. There are some of us who live in a different way. Blessed be his name. You, father and mother who listen to me, who see your son continually drunk, drag your daughter perverted on the street, and you think those are today's youngsters. I have news for you, it is not always so. Praise the name of Jesus. There is a God of heaven who listens and hears our cry.